Gap is a passive content discovery tool based on an old burp extension called get all params, uh, hence the GAP. And it is not available in the burp BAP store, unfortunately. So you are going to have to go to the GitHub page, which I will link below to download and also follow the in installation instructions to get set up with this tool. Uh, it does have a number of dependencies, which you will have to make sure are available within your environment. You'll see that I have this installed and uh, set up along with burp.js link finder, which we're going to use as a comparison. So I have burp.js link finder in a tab here and I have gap in a tab here. We're not going to go through the details of all of the configuration options. Of course, there are many and I encourage you to explore those on your own time. We're just going to run the tools in their default configuration and look at the output. So navigating to the target sitemap, I'm going to right click on our target here, which is going to be Port Swigger's Gin and Juice Shop. And I'm going to click passively scan this host. And that's actually not going to populate uh, any results in Gap. It's only going to populate results in Burp.js Link Finder, which as you can see here, these results are not very remarkable. Uh, to get results in Gap, what we need to do is right click on our target and go to the uh, extensions menu here and then click Gap. And that will trigger Gap to run against all of the content uh, that we've identified on these targets or on that specific target. And in the very bottom pane here, uh, you can see that there are URLs and URL components like paths that uh, are above and beyond what were identified in burp.js link finder. So uh, even this pane alone uh, produced some more interesting results than burp.js link finder. But what we also have are a number of potential parameters that were identified. Uh, I believe it extracts this from JavaScript variables. And we also have a number of words that it identified that could be used for a number of different types of guessing attacks. So that is how you use Gap to identify content. Of course, there are many different ways to configure it, and I encourage you to explore it. Um, but uh, certainly from this trial run right here, it seems to identify quite a bit more compared to Burp.js Link Finder.